Hello everyone, my name is Wayne from Trax Power Dollies. This is our TX6000 and I just want to go some, through some of the operations, what to expect when you get the unit and how you're going to put it together and run it. First thing you'll find in the packaging, you're going to get three battery connectors that will be you know, shrink wrapped to the side of this ball stand. You'll take them off. Now you're going to either order batteries through us or you get your own batteries. This is what the connector is going to look like on the battery. So basically you'll just take these, you'll use two 3 8 wrenches. The battery is going to come with its own bolts. And all you're going to do is red to positive and black to negative. Hook up all three batteries. And then when you're done, inside the lid here, you'll see this is what the batteries look like connected to the harness. So your batteries just easily drop in the slot here and you'll connect them up. The only thing you need to be aware of is on this main connector here, which is screwed onto the housing, you'll see there's a black line on here. So there's, it's black to, well, we don't color coat this because you can't mix it up, but you'll see black to black on this connector is the only one you can mix up. All of the rest of them don't matter because as long as you hook red to red on your battery, black to black, when you hook up these connectors, it's foolproof, you cannot mess this up. You will also notice in here, there is a little fuse in here that you can check. All this fuse does is it supplies power to your electric brakes. If there's an issue in the brakes on your trailer, it'll blow this without damaging anything on the system. Inside the unit, there's also a big relay for all of our motor stuff that you don't need to worry about. It's, a, it's actually a breaker, so if it pops, It'll cool down and reset itself, and it's not an issue. You'll notice that this machine has got our eight hour battery charger, which is an onboard charger. I'll explain that in a moment. But I just want to talk about the operation of the machine. So if we close the lid here, there is two switches over here. There's a power switch and a fast slow switch. So you see labeled on off, and this is up is high, down is low. This is the cannon plug, which you can undo if you want to remove the handle. Anyways, inside of the machine, we have a programmed smart motor controller. That gives us the variable speed option. What you may notice when you get the machine is if you turn it on right away and hit the throttle, nothing's going to happen. But if I let go and then I push, the machine will start to drive. And you're going to think, what the heck, why is this doing this? Well, inside, when you turn the power on, so if I flip this on, for about three seconds, this um, controller has to go through a bunch of safety checks and it makes sure everything is okay. Once it's done all of that, then it says, okay, I'm ready to drive. So now, when this is on, and I'll show you this, so it's off right now, turn it on, and I'll count one, two, three, now it should drive. So that explains why sometimes if you flip it on right away and you hit the throttle, nothing happens. It's because you need a couple seconds for the controller to go through its safety checks. Operation of this thing. So if I want to drive it. There's forward. So up here is a forward reverse button. So if I just push that button, it goes into reverse. Push it again, it goes into forward. Now you'll see this is as fast as it goes in the low speed option. Now with the variable throttle, I can slow this right down to just a crawl to the point where you can hardly even tell it's moving. So it's an infinite control. I want to speed it up again. Now, so I would use a slow option when you're doing the very precise maneuvering, when you're close to obstacles, you don't want to smack your boat into something. When I go into high speed option, I flip the switch and it speeds right up. And you'll see I can, from a full speed, I can still hit the reverse button the controller is smart enough to know to slow down and just go backwards again. Hit the reverse button. Now we're going forward. So that explains the variable speed control. One other thing I want to show you. Down here is our motor. There's a little switch here. There's a little handle. What this handle does is down is the internal parking brake on the motor is off. And then if I go up, parking brake is on. 
The difference is when it's down and I hit the throttle, just listen to the sound. You really don't hear much. When I turn this on, now listen to the sound, you'll hear a definite clicking when the brake releases. So that explains what this does. And uh, if you're on, it, on an incline, you definitely want to have the brake up in the engaged position. The uh, charger in here, you can see here's where we store our handle. And this is a jack handle that goes on to here, a bottle jack. So obviously we can crank this up and that would clamp onto the tongue of your trailer. Or there's a little groove in here and it's just like any other bottle jack. You turn it counterclockwise and the jack will go down. And then you wanna turn it clockwise to tighten this screw up again and you're ready to jack up. And we just store this guy back here in these two clips. Inside, so this is the onboard eight hour charger and it's going to come with a plug harness that looks like this. And it's basically just like an old computer cable. That's all it is. So if we undo this and that plugs in over here. So we'll plug that in. I'll plug this into an extension cord. And you'll see there's an on off power switch and the little white button when that's pushed in that's on. If you come around to the other side, you'll see there's two LEDs here. So when I turn that on, we should see a red LED that comes on. That means that it's charging. This little yellow light, when it's completely charged, will turn green, and that means it's in a float mode. So it's gonna maintain your batteries and you can leave it plugged in in the green indefinitely. So this is handy, and as I said, it's an eight hour charger, so this is an overnight charge. We do have a bigger charger, which is this guy here, significantly bigger charger. You'll see what it does is there's three lines that go out to each battery and it will separately control and maintain each battery. So if one is lower than the other two, it will balance everything out. And the operation of this is pretty simple. It tells you whether it's charging and if it's finished charging, uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna show you our ball stand assembly. Um, inside here is basically threaded. So we can switch out to whatever size ball you want. So when you order the machine, you, you tell us what size ball you want. But if you decide, I've got one trailer with a two inch ball and my next trailer is a two and five sixteenths, I just drop that in, thread it in, it's fairly simple. And then you bring it up to your trailer, drop that on, Jack this thing up, it's going to go up and clamp against your trailer and you're ready to go.